Hi there, I'm Lindsay Hooper and coming up on Music Blast today, Pixie Lot isn't giving much away when it comes to her plans for 2010. I'm working on some projects, I don't know if I can talk about them just yet. We speak to Dizzy Rascal's biggest fan. I've done a load of stuff, it's worked. And yesterday we had the worst dress celebs of 2009, but which music stars make it onto the best dress list? And she always picks the right colour and the right cut to show her body off. Any ideas? You might be surprised. First, though, it's been quite a year for Pixie Lot. She's had two consecutive number ones and a top ten debut album. But when it comes to looking forward to next year, she's keeping tight-lipped. So it's going to be a busy year again. Um, but I'm, yeah, working more, I'm writing some more stuff. Um, I'm working on some projects. I don't know if I can talk about them just yet, but you'll find out soon. Um, but I'm getting involved in loads of things, so it's going to be a fun year, yeah, definitely. I'm counting on some big collaborations and Pixie could do worse than hook up with this guy. Yes, Dizzy Rascal has been one of the big movers in the music industry for the last decade. His Mercury Music Prize, four gold albums and three number ones have made him a household name. And doesn't Dizzy know it? I just like that I've done a load of stuff, it's worked. It's, it's kind of as simple as that, but we more important than that. It's made a lot of people smile, made a lot of people feel good over the years, hopefully it's smile to people as well. Finally, if you were watching yesterday, you'll know that I gave fashion expert Nick Eads nominations for Worst Dressed Celebs of the Year. Some of you weren't too happy that Lady Gaga made it on his list. Fear not, he's also put her in the Best Dress list. Because in the end, she is out there, she is an artist, it's very sort of avant-garde, and there's nobody for a long time who's really gone out so much and created this persona. Possibly sitting on the fence with that one, but here's his other 2009 trendsetter. It's none other than Katie, I once dressed as a fried egg, Perry. And she always picks the right colour and the right cut to show her body off. As she's sort of gone to win awards and be nominated, she's actually gone for this rather sexy, demure, but also Hollywood elegant look, and I think that works really well. Just goes to show anything could happen in 2010. More music blast of the New Year's Eve variety with me tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah.